Hi and welcome to the Learning iOS Development with uh, Adam Sharp or Mamad Azam. And in this particular screencast, what we are going to learn is the Objective-C language. Okay, so let's get started. So we are in our uh, the .dot h file is basically the header file, as I've mentioned before. The .dot m file is the implementation file. The .xib file or the .zip file is basically the interface file. So you can uh, draw your interface. You can drag multiple items from uh, the toolbox over here on the right hand side. Okay. So let's go ahead and do some programming. The first thing that you need to learn is to how to declare the inst uh, the fields. Okay, uh, fields of a class. So let's declare a um, string. Okay, here we go. So NS string. So usually, if you are coming from a C sharp background or a Java background, the string type should be represented by a string. Okay, but over here in Objective C language, everything, well, basically most of the things or everything, basically uh, prefix with NS, which is next step, which was the company Steve Jobs formed after he left Apple. Uh, sometime long time ago all right the static over here the star it means that this is a uh, reference type and it is not a, a well, basically a value type like integer it's not an integer it's not double or float or something like that it is a reference type okay and it is always a good idea to expose your uh, the field that you just declared in the form of the property so other classes can actually use it. And there are multiple things uh, or multiple ways of declaring the uh, the properties, like there are different kind of keywords that you can use. Let me actually declare that and I'll explain. Uh, here we go, and a string, and you will use the same name, which is name. So uh, when you're declaring property, you start with the at sign and then the property. Non-atomic actually means over here that um, it will be much faster than atomic, so it won't uh, be affected by. Uh, it will be actually affected by the uh, the threading if you are accessing it on multiple threads. Okay, so it won't be locked. And retain means that I want to retain this property in memory. And of course, the NS string is just a type. And static means that once again it is a reference type, and not a, not a integer or value type. All right. So even though you have declared a property, you see this uh, I sign or kind of like a indication over here of warning. And if I click on it, it says that hey, you have actually declared the property. That's cool, but there is no, there are no getters and setters. So if I want to access this property, which is a name property from the outside world, like from a different class, then I cannot because there are no getters and setters. So let's actually go ahead and declare the getters and setters. Uh, declaring getters and setters in Objective-C is pretty simple actually. You just use the synthesize keyword and it will declare the getters and setters for you. And you say name. Now in this case you will not use the static sign and now synthesize will actually create a getter and setter for you. Okay. Um, Let's actually do one other thing. Now self over here means the class that we are inside right now. Okay, so self right now in which class we are in? We are in Hello World View Controller. So whenever we set, say self, it will return us the instance of the Hello World View Controller or the current instance that we are actually working on. Super means the parent class. So um, base class and C sharp, I think, and I'm not sure about Java, what they uh, do it over there. Okay. Let's actually go to the app delegate file where we have declared it and uh, let me actually declare this thing whole once again. All right. So in, in order to declare a variable or a class instance, what you do is uh, since this is a reference type, a class is always a reference type, you, you declare it with a static sign like over here. And you say over here um, equal to hello world view controller. And you say alloc. Alloc means allocation of the memory. So you're allocating the memory to the reference type that you are creating. And now this is a little weird for you, right? So you're saying 
in it what does in it means and what are these brackets don't worry about the brackets okay so let me see uh, if you want to declare this class in maybe C sharp or some other language uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to do something uh, like this right new hello world view controller or something right like this okay so these things I have shifted a little bit all right uh, just open it in a block and whenever you say hello world view controller and if I press escape over here I get all the methods and all the properties okay uh, M of course declare with the methods and uh, I don't know where are some properties I don't see any properties but if uh, so the first thing I need to do is to allocate the memory to it so I allocate it and it's a good idea to just put it put the uh, the bracket and when you put the bracket it automatically adds a bracket at the uh, at the first or the start and then you say in it which means initialization okay so if you want to do some custom if you want to call a custom constructor so this is basically a constructor in the end right uh, and if you want to create a custom constructor you can just go in your header file and well, where it is there here we go and you can create a custom constructor all right let's go back here we go one other thing that you will notice is that the chaining of the method calls first you're calling the alloc method and then you're calling the init method now if you are familiar with jquery the the javascript framework that also does the same thing so in jquery you are going to do something like this well So let's say so it's just chaining you don't have to worry about that much right so yeah i'm just going to say okay display div and and see you are actually chaining it over here or you can say something else i mean i don't remember the name of the methods and all that stuff but um i don't know if you want to say css apply something over here dot hide so you see that the chaining reaction that you're doing is you can do the same thing in objective c it's no big deal right what else we need to cover let's see um, so these things will actually get you started with the objective C um, objective C uh, language and you can start building the uh, hello world application or some other application with just these basic concepts okay hope you like this uh, video and stay tuned for more and once again I do accept PayPal donations, so if you think this video has helped you clear some concepts about Objective-C, if you are liking this learning iOS development series, send your donations to azamsharp at gmail.com using PayPal. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.